Okay, I'd like to show you a little bit about how to edit a vehicle just to get into the editor and make a quick change to a vehicle to start with and then we'll get into some more detailed tasks. Um, in this video I'm going to be looking at this E-Flight Habu 50mm. It's a fun little jet, flies around on three cell batteries, super easy to maintain and fly. It's very quick and sporty. Nice loops and rolls and things like that, all those sport plane things that these Habus do so well. Um, it's, it's quicker than the Habu STS, flies a lot like the 70mm Habu does on six cells, but with a three cell battery in it, it's a much more approachable vehicle to throw in your car and keep operating. I have both, enjoy both, but the 50 gets a lot of outings because it's small and it flies on the everything battery. But let's look at this guy right now. If I put it in level flight and let it cruise along, I'll hit about 70 miles an hour, a little bit more, 72, 73, 74, 75, something like that. It's pretty quick. Uh, let's see if we can make it faster. To do that, we'll edit the vehicle in the vehicle editor. Let's reset it to the ground for safety. I will do this. I'll actually launch the editor using my controller. So I press the cancel button, go down to my real flight, which is where you edit, maintain, rename, copy, just handle all of your content. I want to edit the current aircraft. And this is where my time with the controller is going to stop for a little bit because the editor itself will require me to use a mouse and a keyboard to get things done. Now I would like this aircraft to be faster. And the first thing I can think about doing is a little cheat by upping the power factor on the motor. So when I change this number here, it literally you know, multiplies the torque that the motor's outputting by this amount. So if you increase the power, um, the prop, or in this case the ducted fan, which is a, a prop with a lot of blades in a special assembly, will spin faster because it has more torque to drive it and you'll go faster. Let's double it. Let's give it twice the power. That's a lot of power. So we'll go to 200%. So that means that we're gonna actually put out twice as much power without putting in any more power. So we're violating the laws of physics. But that's fun to do in a simulation. That's part of the idea, right? We will go and for now, we will change the name of this aircraft when we save it. So we'll hit save as, and this is going to be the more power variant. Let's me use that exclamation point. I'm happy about that. Sometimes punctuation won't work out, but it does here. So uh, now I've got more power on the aircraft. Let's see how it flies. Let's see what kind of speed we can get to. You may be surprised. So this is flying with twice the power. Let's see if we get twice the speed. Spoiler, we won't. So I've doubled my power on the aircraft, but I'm topping out at around 82 miles an hour. I mean, it's faster. It's just not bonkers faster. And that is because the amount of speed that you get out of something actually goes the is uh, by the power cubed. So to double the speed, I would need to octuple the amount of power on board. Now, the way motor, electric motors work, that would not actually work out because the kV of the motor, the voltage constant, is also a limiting factor. The motor just won't spin much faster. So let's go, and now that we have more power on the plane, let's, we could either make a new motor with a different KV. I'm not really into doing that right now. This is a simple edit. Let's see what happens if we increase the pitch of the uh, blades in the fan. So we'll go get back to my real flight, edit current aircraft, and we will go to back to the electric ducted fan unit here, ducted fan we're calling it in this aircraft. And here we have prop pitch, uh, we're going to increase that. So basically the pitch is how far the propeller would advance if it were going through like a perfectly lossless fluid. Like if you were screwing the propeller into a block of jello, how far would it go in one turn? Right now we've got a pitch of three inches, so per turn. Let's up that quite a bit. Let's go to 4.2. We've already got a lot of extra torque on the motor, so we should be able to handle that. We'll save and exit to the simulator. Let's see if we've gotten faster now. So I throttle up, take off. Let's try to make a turn and establish level flight. It's feeling faster. Let's see what the numbers say. Numbers say 113 miles per hour. Now we're talking. So upping the power alone didn't help us out much because one, it takes a lot of power to go faster. And two, because the motor constants were working against us. But upping the pitch of the propeller is a great way to make an aircraft faster presuming that you have the power to spin that higher pitch propeller. 
And now we've taken the aircraft from 72 to 113, I think I saw, uh, in level flight. Let's see if we can stabilize it out. I'm having to trim with my thumb a little bit because the extra speed, 110, 111. Yeah, that's, that is substantially faster. So that is how to make a quick edit to an aircraft to make it faster. Sometimes you have to do something different than the thing you first thought you were going to do. Out of curiosity, I wonder what would happen if we took that power number and put it back to 100% and but left the pitch where it is. Let's find out. I'm using the controller again because I can. But now I have to put it down because there's too much to do here. So we drop back into the ducted fan unit. We'll take that power factor back down to 100% and we will save the aircraft and see what we get. Now we've made something that soaks up a lot more energy, so my guess is we're going to draw more current and run our battery down faster, but the aircraft is faster. Let's see. Well, I think it is. Let's find out. But I have a strong opinion it will be. Yeah, so now I can make 106, 107, almost as much as I was able to make with the 200% power factor, um, but I'm back to having not cheating on physics. I've just made a steeper fan. Now, once again, we're probably drawing more current. We're not showing that in the um, in the nav guides right now, but you can see if you watch our battery remaining that that number is getting real small real quick. Let's edit the nav guides so we can see what the current is. Current draw is what I want. We'll compare this with the original version of the Habu. So right now it says we're drawing 43 amps. That will drain the um, battery that we're using. It looks like it gets to be a little bit lower in level flight. That will drain the battery we're using in around three minutes. Uh, you can see it's a 2200 milliamp hour battery and nothing's perfect. Now let's go back and look at what the original Haboud was drawing to see what that difference in prop pitch made in terms of the flight performance. Now this aircraft has thrust reversing, which is a little bit fun to play with. Stop it in midair. Ah, that would have broken the aircraft in reality. A lucky, lucky hit. All right, let's go and look at the original Habu. I'm going to use Control F to load it up. Type in Habu. Look for the 50 millimeter without more power. And we'll see what it draws current wise. So, yeah, we can see that we're pulling substantially less current with it. it pulls about 21 amps. Um, you know, less than two thirds of what we were seeing on the other one. This will fly this airplane at full throttle for around six minutes uh, at 20 amps. So you can see the cost of the steeper propeller pitch is shorter run times. You can have more speed, but you're going to pay for it. So that's just a quick rundown on both some flight physics around aircraft speed and on how to use the aircraft editor and how to access it using the new Real Flight Evolution UI. Hope this helps. Everybody keep flying. Thanks.